guys and welcome back to KB Decor Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I transform these Target Dollar Spot shutters and also how I created my own mini ladder. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, the ladder was very hard to find. I checked about five different stores, so I finally decided to just make my own. And I'm also going to show you how I decorated this space for Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I found these two different shutters at the Target Dollar Spot and I picked them both up because I knew that I was just going to repaint them anyway. Um, so it didn't matter that they were both different colors. Um, I went ahead and sanded down as much as possible to get all the shine and just basic the base coating that it had on so it would absorb my paint better. And I made sure to do that to both shutters. So I got a new tripod for Christmas. I'm trying to still work on learning how to angle my stuff so you can see what I'm talking about, but I use the Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant to paint both my shutters. And I gave them both each two coats of paint. Once they were completely dry, I used my favorite technique of using a dry brush and adding some white chalk paint to kind of give it that distressed look by dabbing the excess off on a paper towel and just brushing all around the shutters. And believe me when I say guys, there's no wrong way to do this, literally adding as much paint as you want or as little as you want, the more distressed it looks, the better. Once they were all dry, I went ahead and hung them up next to this wreath that I found at Home Goods. I really love how they turned out and it looks great with the decor that I have going on in this space. Now for my mini ladder, I use these stir sticks that I found at Walmart. They come in a pack of three, which is perfect. And I use about four sticks for this project. I always keep these on handy um, because they're great for DIYs. And they cost about $1.12 a pack. And I went ahead and measured where I needed to cut down, trying to keep as much of the length of the stick as possible. So my wonderful husband also got me this really cool mini table saw that I can use for smaller projects and it worked out perfect for this one. I was able to cut down where I needed to and just sand down all the edges. Here's the box for the saw. I'll have down in the description below all the info on where we got it. But so far it's worked out great for my small projects. And I wanted to show you guys that you could also use a regular hand saw to cut these down. It works just as great and it cuts down just as smoothly. And don't forget to sand down all your edges. So I used a stick and a half to cut down three steps for my ladder. For the two ends of my ladder, I wanted to use this Waverly wax paint in the color antique to stain my pieces of wood. I always brush the wax on and then remove the excess off with a paper towel, giving it a really beautiful stained look. For my three steps, I painted those white. And of course, I added some weathering with the same wax antique paint and a dry brush. I use Gorilla Wood Glue to adhere my steps onto the ladder. I carefully balance the two sides upright and gently place down my steps. Once I placed them down where I wanted them, I made sure not to touch them again until they were completely dry. Now that everything is dry and ready to go, I wanted to show you how I decorated this area and I'll have below in the description box of where everything is from.
I just wanted to cut in real quick and tell you guys how I painted my tiered tray that I found at the Target Dollar Spot. This was only $5 and once I saw it, I wanted to give it that enamel look. So I grabbed some black chalk paint and painted around the rims with a sponge brush as well as a handle and I love how it came out. I would love to know in the comments down below if you guys decorate for Valentine's Day as well. I normally don't but for some reason I went a little crazy this time and I ended up loving how this looked. If you'd like to see some pictures to get more inspiration off the space that I decorated, I have them up on my Instagram at KB Decor Crafts. I also post a few mini DIYs here and there that you don't want to miss, so make sure you follow me to keep up on the videos I post. And this is the final look of my entire little area that I decorated for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys liked it as much as I do and are inspired just a little by what I've created. And for those that have been struggling to find the mini ladder at the Target Dollar Spot, hopefully you're able to make one of these so you have one of your own. Give this video a big thumbs up and you're subscribed to this channel for more easy and affordable DIYs like these and I'll see you guys in my next one.